Camp Adventures. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Gimp Adventures. So, yeah, no surprise. It's afternoon. Yeah, yesterday was a long day. And, uh, just got done eating some lunch or breakfast, depending on how you want to look at it. But uh, today I'm going to work on some art projects. I'm going to finally start to paint my axe there. That will make Mel happy. Because she says all the time, Oh, when are you going to paint that thing? I see it all the time and it's not done yet. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to work on another project that I have. But, uh, right now, while my I give myself some time for my food to digest, I'm going to work on, uh, I'm going to get caught up on, uh, my vlogs. You know, as you've noticed by now, um, I'm behind. Uh, I haven't edited the last two, well, counting yesterday, it's three. Now I'm behind. Well, technically, I'm, I'm behind on two, whatever. Technicalities. So, I'm going to do the two, and I'll probably save the yesterday for later on tonight. But uh, we'll get started on that, and we'll get working on some art. It'll be a good day. Alright, so I'm finally about ready to start working on uh, my art projects here. Uh, I got my axe laid out, and this is the other thing. By the way, this is the other thing that I'm going to be working on. Um, I gotta take it apart first. Uh, and if you remember that small round or oval shaped mirror that I had and what I did with that and then I gave it to Liz because she thought it was cool, I'm gonna be doing something similar to that with it. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what, you'll just have to wait and see. But first thing, I gotta take it apart so that I can get all, all the parts individually. i got to take the mirror out of it and uh, cut up a piece of cardboard for it. And I've already got a half demolished box that I'm going to use. So I'm not going to use a, a pristine box, one that I could use for moving stuff. But uh, I'm going to do that. And then uh, uh, for my axe, uh, I have these stencils that I cut out. That one was a phoenix, and this one is a dragon, uh, to go on each side of the blade. Uh, what I did to get these is I put a piece of uh, plain uh, paper, and I took a rubbing of the blade to get this shape, and then I scanned it into my computer, and I put uh, the designs on them, and I printed them out on some cardstock paper, which is basically just thick paper. And then I used uh, an X-Acto knife and cut it out, so that I can get nice uh, designs on them because I want to make sure they look good and you know I could care less you know I don't want to try and freehand something because I want it to look good you know for this because it's supposed to be a display thing and not like an artsy kind of thing so but uh, we'll see how far I get with these hopefully I can get them both done today All right, well, I got uh, a good portion of my art projects done. Um, uh, here's my axe. There's the head uh, and the handle. And uh, this, the head needs another coat of paint. Right now it just has a white primer on it, and I'm going to put a metallic silver on that make it, you know, look like metal, uh, and then I'll put the little decals on it, and uh, here's that, what well, was the white uh, frame, you know, I took the hooks off it, and there's the base that was sticking out, you know, I antiqued them, I haven't done the cardboard yet, I was kind of debating what exactly I want to do to it, uh, but, uh, We'll, we'll see where it goes from there. But, uh, 
right now and break and get something to eat because food is good. Alright, so a slight change of plans. Uh, my back is starting to spaz out like crazy. So instead of instead of uh, finishing these projects now, which I know I could finish the axe tonight, but I couldn't. I don't think I could finish the other thing. I am just going to hold them here at this point and uh, I'll finish them up uh, tomorrow. But right now I'm going to go hop in the shower and hopefully that will help my back uh, loosen up you know, my starting to tighten muscles. But Yep. After that, I'll get ready for the new episode of Mythbusters that's on tonight. After I edit yesterday's vlog. I did get the other one put up. But I gotta get yesterday's edited now. So that'll be good. You ever watch this show called... Uh, on Animal Planet called uh, Call of the Wild Man? It's about this guy that lives in Kentucky and he's kind of like a Steve Irwin kind of guy. He just goes out and catches, uh, you know, animals in the wild, uh, you know, nuisance animals like raccoons, snakes, turtles, you know, alligators, things like that, and he'll, you know, move them for you. And, and he is seriously like the biggest hillbilly ever. Well, he's not even a hillbilly, but, you know, because he lives in the middle of nowhere. Like, he has, he doesn't have running water in his house or anything. He does I don't think he has electricity or nothing like that. The guy, seriously, he's missing all of those teeth, his top teeth. He's got a couple on the sides and the top, but he doesn't have the ones in front. That's how much of, like, a, you know... <laughs> hick this guy is but he I just I watch it every now and then when it happens to be on just cuz it's kinda of funny but one thing that really kinda of throws me off with this show is the show they refer to him as the wild man you know it's call of the wild man and yet everybody refers to him as the turtle man Does anybody else see a conflict in names? Why not just call the show, you know, Call of the Turtle Man or Wild Turtle Man or something, you know, with Turtle Man in the name and not Call of the Wild Man because it it's just weird. You know, that's just kind of the way I I think, you know, with my background with graphic design, I kind of think of things like that, and it's just, it throws me off, and it's just weird. But if you ever want to laugh, you should seriously watch this show, it's really funny. But, uh, it's about, about that time to go to bed, so, uh, good night, see you tomorrow. Give adventures, making our way one push at a time.